Regent of Clan Dunbrock, and I'll be shooting for my own hand. Don't you dare loose another arrow! Generally what we do is we have a lot of research uh, with character designs uh, and drawings, and the ultimate goal of a storyboard artist here is to work for, with the director and we try to get the script and all of these rough ideas down on paper, or digital paper I should say, uh, to flesh out and actually see visually how the story is going to progress. Merida, I forbid it. These shots are very specific and laid out, uh, almost like a musical piece, uh, like notes. Each one should be connected to the other. And so this is one of the best ways that we can achieve that really quickly is in drawings, in composition, uh, with acting. We want it to feel very reminiscent of Scotland and so with a lot of sort of overcast skies, keeping things not as direct sun and keeping things very soft. A lot of what we're trying to do is, is guide the viewer's eyes so that they're looking um, where they're supposed to be looking. I don't want to get married. I want to stay single and let my hair flow in the wind as I ride through the glen, firing arrows into the sunset. And then here's um, one of my favorite shots in the movie and how we, we pull that out and really frame her nicely. Each film has its own challenge, um, and with these characters, that they were so realistic and the level of detail was so great, um, to be able to really try to get to the level of polish um, was, a, was a challenge on this film. A lot about it was in, was in the eyes and the brows and, and that relationship. The supervising animators going in and massaging little details, little tiny nuance that to be honest, most audience won't have seen the difference, but they'll feel the difference. It is the one thing we must always be.